Hey, welcome back. So I am sitting here um, with Maria, and I'm not going to tell you who she is yet because I've got to intro this because this was last week was so much fun. But the Get Real <laughs> Youth Video yeah. uh, Department, our awesome, awesome youth video uh, program here, uh, wrapped up another fabulous year with their. Um, they've been working in schools all mm -hmm. over East Counties and just doing great stuff with youth filmmaking. We've had quite a few. Um, youth young filmmaker award winners that have come out of the Get Real program, and that is amazing. But last week, we had uh, 12 young women working five days in three teams to produce music videos. And this was a music video camp specifically for young women ranging in age from 13 to 18. Mm -hmm. And I am sitting here speaking with Maria, one of the participants in that program. Hi, Maria. Welcome to Community Hotline. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you for having me here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. I had fun. I kind of, I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to work with the camp, but mm -hmm. I, you know, I ended up working with the camp and I had so much fun. You guys produced um, the waiting in the bus. Yeah, the bus is late. Oh my gosh, yes. Which, the bus song. which I, yeah. after this camp, I sang like two, two songs got stuck in my head it's and good. the it's waiting really for the bus in the rain, in the rain <laughs> was one of them. Um, so like I said, it was 12 young women, mm -hmm. three teams working five days. So you guys um, worked on your, you uh, worked on your concept, you shot, you mm -hmm. edited, you had six uh, mentors here Mm -hmm. that were professionals that are professionals in the industry. We had some folks um, from Wyden and Kennedy and, and some yeah. other independent <laughs> producers here speak. So what was that like hearing from other women in the industry? Well, it was kind of intimidating because obviously they know so much more than you do uh -huh. because of the fact that all I've had is just a video program at a charter school called the Center for Advanced Learning. Uh -huh. And I just know a couple of things, but hearing these women just sharing all their stories of how they've done this for this client or this for this other client, it's kind of like, wow, they've actually done the big time. And it, they are just like volunteering their time to show you how to actually be better at what you want to do. And it's a blessing that these women actually gave up their time to show us like these amateur girls and like <laughs> how to actually produce a music video in just like, what, five days? It was, and I was surprised, mm -hmm. five days mm -hmm. that you guys had to pick your song and then think about how to tell your story. So just to get in, um, just a little bit about yourself. You mentioned that you're a student at the Center for, for Advanced, Advanced Learning, Learning, the Cal yeah. Art School. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you into video film? Are you into music <laughs> well like any teenager i'm into music obviously mm -hmm. and um the center for advanced learning um was a charter school that i took when i was in high school i'm actually a graduate now so congratulations <laughs> thank you i'm going to PSU. <laughs> so it's so much fun um but yeah no i went to the center for advanced learning and they have a beautiful digital media and design mm -hmm. program there and in there, they also had a video program, which one of the mentors, Barb Myers, was actually and a part of. And big thanks to her, because she really yes. spearheaded this camp, and it was just phenomenal. She did a phenomenal job, so. Yeah, and she's kind of the reason why I came, because of the fact that um, video design wasn't really, like, I didn't know it was something I was interested in mm -hmm. until I actually took a look at it. And before this camp, I actually had a couple of experiences with short films and animation. Mm -hmm. So I kind of knew what I was doing, but never a music video. I never Love knew <laughs> what I was going to be up against, especially since it was with a bunch of girls that I'd never met before. Mm -hmm. Well, I met one of my members before, but having to build a relationship in just under a couple of hours to actually just get a song ready and all this. But yeah, it was fun. And I didn't really know if it was like, something I was into, but after having the experience, I really, really love video production. Nice. And it's not something I'm going to be majoring in, but you never know. I might change my mind. <laughs> you know, you, like you said, you never know. You yeah. never know. So we actually, I want to ask you more about your experience at camp, but we've mm -hmm. actually, like I said, got your video. We have your video here. <laughs> yeah. And um, we're going to show your video <laughs> oh, gosh. now. Okay. So <laughs> let's roll that clip.
Waiting for the bus in the rain in the rain, wait, waiting for the bus in the rain. Waiting for the bus in the rain in the rain, wait, waiting for the bus in the rain. Waiting for the bus, where is the bus? The bus is late. Waiting for the bus in the rain in the rain. When the bus come, where the bus at? Got my bus pass, bus is much better than a train, than a train. Take phone pictures while I'm waiting at the bus stop. Bus not here while the bus so late. I'm waiting for the bus in the rain. Wishing I was on the bus when the bus drive around your state. Oh, could it come the bus? Oh shit, it's a different bus, not the right bus, not the bus I need. Now I'm waiting for the bus in the rain at another stop. Bus ain't got a real high speed. Waiting for the bus, took a picture of another bus Waiting for the bus in the rain I've been waiting for the bus since the sun came up But the sun ain't out no more cause it's grey Waiting for the bus, there's a grey one, blue one, a red one All of them turned away I've been waiting for the bus, gotta catch a bus Gotta watch news, gotta regiment and plan for the day Bus Waiting for the bus in the rain in the rain Waiting for the bus in the rain Waiting for the bus in the rain in the rain Waiting for the bus in the rain now there's other people waiting at the bus stop Hey, where's your bus pass, boy? When you're waiting for the bus in the rain Have your bus pass ready or the people on the bus get annoyed I'm waiting for the bus like I do every day On my way home, waiting for the bus in the rain At least on the days when it's raining And I'm waiting for the bus cause the other days ain't the same Tweet! So that was your video, Waiting for the Bus in the Rain. <laughs> yep. And my stepdaughter, who was a participant in the camp, she oh, said, yeah. um, Taj, when the Waiting for the Bus in the Rain video played, I could hear you laughing over the whole crowd. <laughs> I just, I got such a kick out of that because the yeah. community members, the skateboarder, the guy mm -hmm. sitting on the bus stop, um, yeah. Next to Annie, which is Jennifer, um, the head of the Get Real program, that's her daughter. Yeah. But all of those people were just community members, the bus driver, mm -hmm. and they, so did they say, hey, sure, we'll be on camera, we'll participate? Yeah, basically. <laughs> it, it was such a, like, an odd opportunity, just, like, um, getting to these bus stops and all these places and just asking random people, like, hey, is it okay if you actually are in our film? Like, the fighting <laughs> couple. That was the weirdest one. Just the fighting couple, like, just fighting there. And we come up, like, hey, is it okay if we, you know, take video of you while our actress is here? And they're like, oh, yeah, it's totally fine. And just go back to fighting. That is so, <laughs> when you perfect. guys told me that story, I was in the floor. <laughs> yeah. And it just, it came out so well, just in the yeah. context of the video. So, um, what was your experience um, in doing this video what was your role actually in doing the video uh, my role I guess it went from being like director mm -hmm. to um, editor which I don't usually edit uh -huh. I'm not much of an editor but once we had the mentors come in it was kind of nice having them in because I don't know that much about premiere mm -hmm. and um, obviously with some of the effects we had um, after Effects with my friend Lem. Yeah, and that's that. where the music notes came yeah. from. And the, yeah. Yeah, so we were just like, all of us were like doing something, either just looking over my shoulder uh -huh. and just like giving out suggestions uh -huh. or just like looking around thinking like, what can we do here? What can we transition to here? Or which clip of the fighting couple do we want in the video? <laughs> yeah. And that was, like I said, it just, that video was just, it was funny and the yeah. song was infectious and you guys just did such a great job shooting that. So what things, what things as you transition on to PSU <laughs> yeah. um, in the fall, what things will you be able to carry from this camp with you? Well, from this camp and from Cal, because of the fact that I do have video skills from other places. Um, I'm obviously going to take that on to um, PSU and above that too because of the fact that I do want to pursue video production somehow, somewhere. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't go with my major of computer science naturally, but seeing as how I said I might change my mind, you never know. But also because of the fact that me and a friend are going to begin a YouTube channel, so all these skills, all these things I'm beginning to learn from mentors, from mm -hmm. volunteering, they're really going to actually help me understand what kind of message 
and how the way I want to portray myself and through my videos because of the fact that messages through videos are essentially what show what you believe yeah. in. So I kind of want nice. to make sure that I portray myself in the way that I want to. And as show. a young woman, that's very important. Yes, very, very important. important. So um, thank you so much for coming in to speak with us. <laughs> It was a and I, I really hope you stay in touch um, through your time at P PSU. <laughs> and um, we've actually got a clip of our mini doc that was mm -hmm. shot by Seth Ring, which is our new um, staff member here. And it was, it was actually produced by Seth and mm -hmm. it was shot by various members of our staff. And mm -hmm. I think you gave an interview for that documentary. <laughs> yes, I There's did. There's <laughs> so much great footage of everybody just having fun, um, just having fun. And really mm -hmm. that's what it's about. And I think when you can learn something and have fun at the same time, I think it's just a win-win. It's an awesome experience. Um, so we're going to watch this mini doc. Mm -hmm. And again, it was produced by Seth. And after that, they're going to come back and they're actually going to get a chance to meet Seth, our new member of Metro East Community Media. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Let's watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Jennifer Dines and I schemed up this idea to have a music video camp for girls. A big motivator for this camp is just to get a bunch of girls to have fun, learn technology. I was expecting a lot of middle schoolers and like bratty teenagers, but it turns out that a lot of the kids were very dedicated to learning. My dream job is really to become a filmmaker. I actually play Ace of Base in my car and TLC Crazy Sexy Cool in my car. I have a six disc changer, so it works well because not everyone needs to know that those are in my car. Not a lot of young people get an opportunity to come into a studio, get their hands on cameras and editing equipment. And to be able to like think creatively, come up with an idea and actually execute it and then watch it together. So I learned oh, how, to, how to change the lighting and how to like zoom in, zoom out, and how you focus on maybe one object and maybe the background is unfocused or the foreground is unfocused. Lots of jobs that you'll do in the future have to do with working with other people. And I think that's a really important skill to learn, as well as just being able to make art your own. Create a shot list, how to plan everything out, how to write it out to make sense. When you're focusing on a topic, you always want to stay on that topic and not get distracted. We thought that we could create an environment where it was just girls. Sometimes girls have the tendency, not all, but some have the tendency to sort of take a secondary role to the dudes who are, have all the testosterone and are like, I want to do this thing. These women have opened up opportunities for us. I love the idea of giving kids an opportunity to come to a place where they can learn to trust their own artistic voices. I really like, love hearing their stories and how they got to where they are now. The music video forum is always fun. You're not really confined to any sort of expectation when you make a music video. Music is like video um, as an art form where it's something that you can relate to emotionally. Throughout the video I had to constantly be running because I was running away from home. It was my exercise for the summer. My favorite part was seeing how Everybody got together and made a music video and the different things that we got to learn that we couldn't learn if we were just sitting around in our house being lazy. Most excited of just watching it and how it turns out. My big hope for this camp would be that a few of these girls would grow up to be filmmakers. My other more modest goal, but perhaps the more important one, is that the girls uh, gain confidence in themselves and their own ability. Just follow your dream, because this is really my dream, and so I'm pursuing it. These girls can do anything, so if they want to go out and be computer programmers, they can, should go for it. If they want to be artists, they should go for it. If you really want to experience things in life, go and learn while you have the chance. It's going to look really cool at the end to see it all come together.